Today I will be showing you how to create a debossed effect with footprints. What better way to show this effect with footprints walking across the sand? So let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how I created this. So the first thing we're going to need to get is sand. So I will use this right here, this photo right here, which is Sand Dune of Ripples. So I'm going to get a copy of that. And then I found these footprints, but are illustration of footprints, and I need a copy of those. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and set it to the background. Maybe we're, hey, hey, it's not scrolling. Oh, wait, wait a minute, because I got it on the feet. I'm so goofy. Y'all. Y'all need to set me straight sometimes. All right, here we go. Now we got this. So what I want to do is figure out what size I want my foot footprints to be. So what I'm going to do is kind of size them down. I think that's a good size footprint there. So now I got my size. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate these. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop my feet. So I have one individual foot on each one. So I'm going to crop and I got my left foot and now i'm going to get my right foot and crop that all right so now i have two feet i can use to walk so now i want to put my feet where i want them to go and you want to put a and here this is going to be the little trick and you'll see in a little bit when we get to the next part why you want to get your spacing a certain way but you're going to put your feet like so. Oh, I don't want that foot. I don't want that foot. I don't want that foot. All right, so let's duplicate this one. And we're going to bring this one up here. So here's my feet. And maybe if you're doing something, you could put a little saying on the side. But we're just going to do the feet for now. And now i got my feet where I want them to be. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into File, Download. Since this is a video, I'm going to go up here and put this to PNG. I am going to download it. And then once it's downloaded, I'm going to head over to Remove BG. Now that I'm in Remove BG, what I'm going to do now is I am going to take this, I'm going to take my download, and I'm going to put it in here. So it's going to remove the background. That's not what we want to do. We want to restore the background. We're making a mask. So what I want to do is go into Erase and Restore. And if you have Canva Pro, you should be able to do this in Canva Pro. But since I don't, I'm a free user. So I'm going to use Remove BG. So I'm going to go in here and I am going to restore my whole background. I'm going to restore the whole picture. Just make it all green and beautiful. Like so. And then when everything is restored, you want to go to Erase. And you're going to erase your feet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one, make sure I get that toe. I'm going to grab this one, this one. Oh, did it get the toe? Did it not get the toe? Oh, I got the toe. Yay. All right. And this one. Then when I make sure it's got everything that I want, I'm going to go done. I'm going to download and I'm going to head back over to Canva. Now that I'm in Canva, what I'm going to do is I am going to upload my mask that I just created. I'm going to put it on top right here. What I want to do is go back into my elements and I want to grab the photo. Now here's where the fun begins. You want to line this photo up. Well, you don't have to line it up perfect, but you kind of want to line it up. You want to take it and make it a darker color. So for the one you want for your background, you want to make it a darker color. So we're going to put this one in the back. So let's go into edit image. Let's take the trans, uh, not the transparency, the brightness down, make it darker. And then we're going to blur it. Because as my boyfriend said, when I first did this, he said, you don't need that when you depress the sand, the lines aren't going to be in there. You got to get rid of the lines. So I said, let me do the blur to kind of blur it out to look like it depressed. So that's the one you're going to want in the back. So we're going to take it in position. We're going to go into layers. We're going to put it underneath. So that's your back. Now what we want to do is play with this. So I'm going to go into edit image. I am in the old editor. 
If you don't know how to go in the old editor, when you're in the new editor, you can go all the way down to the bottom. There will be a blue box right here. It'll say switch to the old editor. That's how you get to the old editor if you're in the new one. And the reason why is because you're going to have to make um, multiple shadows. And you can do that in the old editor, but not in the new one. So I'm going to go into the drop shadow. And what I want to do is hit these three bars here. So I want shadows on the right and the left. So I'm going to go up in here and I'm going to go right. And then I don't want my offsets to be that deep in there. I just want it on the sides. So we're going to change our offset just a little hair that way. And then you'll have that side. And if you want to, you can adjust the blur if you want. If you want to, just get in here and play around it until you find it the way you like it. But this is what you're going to play with. So I'm going to apply that there. And then when that takes, you'll see this disappear. So don't mess with it till this disappears. Now see it's disappeared. What we're going to do now is do it again. So I'm going to go to the drop. I did the right. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to look for left. I'm going to do the same thing. But I want my offset to be tight. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the transparency down on it too because I want it a little bit lighter than what it is on the other side. And I'm going to take my blur up a little bit. So let's see if it'll let me see it. Move it and see it better. I think I want my offsets moved more too. There we go. Just a little bit. So that's how we want those. All right. And when you get it the way you like it, if you want to shade it different, like turn it a little bit gray, maybe check it out with like a little white to kind of make it kind of indent some. You can do that. Put a little white in there. Just play around and find how you really want that indent to look. But that's how you do it. The old editor. I love the old editor. I don't, hopefully it never goes away. So I'm going to push apply on that. Make sure these are gone. And that's how you know it's take it took and it's ready to go. Now, I have my imprints that I want. I'm going to make this bigger to cover the whole shebang. Then I'm going to go back in here and grab a few of these. Now, here's the fun part. You got to try to line these up. Because if you do flat sand or a solid color, you're not going to have this problem because it's solid. But because I have a image like the sand and the lines, when I start moving that for the animation, see how you can see that line here? So the so lining it up is going to be your fun part with this. So I'm going to go to the top and see if that makes it better. You still see that line. Let's see, scooch it bigger, just a hair, and let's see if that looks better. Yes, I think it could go just a scooch more. There we go. And now that I've got that lined up like that, what I want to do is make sure that I have one here, and then I need to duplicate this, line it up on top of that one, hopefully. And then what I do, can you, okay, it's not seen. So now what I want to do is take one of them and put it over my foot. All right, we're going to get rid of this first page because we're done with this now. I'm going to delete that. So now we can start with our animation. So I'm going to duplicate the page. And then I'm going to come over here and get rid of this real quick so we can see. So what I want to do now is I want to get ready to come over here. I want to go into position, maybe, come up, position. I want to grab this one right here, and I want to expose my first foot. Oh, no, maybe not that one. This one, and expose my first foot. And then I'm going to go and duplicate the page. I am going to expose my second foot. So this is why you need two of them and you need your spacing good because you want to be able to move these along to see your footprints. All right, I see a little bit of that toe knocked off there 
and then I'm going to duplicate the page again and I am going to come over and expose this foot here and then I'm going to duplicate the page and we're going to expose the last foot let's see how far we got to go up with that one and go over and there's my last foot so now that we have that done what i want to go in here into my transitions go to match and move and you know me i'm going to turn it all the way up at first i'm going to apply between all pages i want to shrink these pages down to let's do let's start off at two so if i put 1.5 it'll probably put 1.9 no one at seat 1.5 goes to two sharker okay still at 2.2 one Point five. I would like a 1.8, 1.6. Oh, we got that. All right. So let's look and see what we got now. So let's look. And I got one, two, three, four. And that's how we do our little feet walking through the sand. I wanted to try to do like some hearts or something underneath with little sayings for Valentine's Day. That might be another pet project that I try, but this is just was my first attempt to try to do because I wanted it to look like feet actually going into the sand. So yeah, so that was my attempt in making impression footprints into the sand just to spike up. You know, people put stuff with little feet prints walking and stuff like that. I just wanted to spi spice it up a little bit. And this is my interpretation. So I thank you guys for stopping by. I love you all. I will see you on the next one. Bye y'all.